Here's the hardware and software survey from June 2021 to November 2022. There's some exciting news here. Linux has jumped quite a bit over this time period. We'll talk about this in a moment, but let's take a deep dive into the survey supplied to us by Steam. We can see that 75% of users are using NVIDIA, while only 15% are actually using AMD GPUs. Intel only coming in at around 9%. And then when we talk about the CPUs, the Intel manufacturer is around 66% of the market share. Quite impressive. They've always been dominating this sector while AMD comes in second. And as far as manufacturers go, there's only the two. So 33% for AMD. Moving on to the amount of CPUs per computer we see in this Steam survey. I love going through this thing just to get a feel on what people are using with their computers. And so you can actually build your own computer. This is a great place to start looking at this survey and also subscribing to the channel because this is where you get information all about Linux programming and engineering. So might as well do it if you haven't already, but let's get back to those CPUs. So six CPUs seems to be dominating with 32% of computers having six CPUs at least. And then the second forerunner is the 30% of computers have four CPUs. Or really, this is talking about cores. I don't like to think of this as CPUs. A little bit of a misnomer there. Anyways, let's get down to the more important information, operating systems. And what are the most popular and what the percentage change here is for the operating systems that exist on our computers. But I want to tell you something. If you want to learn more about Linux, check out my cheat sheet in Linux checklist in the description below. You'll want to download that. So you can start exploring the wonderful world of Linux. Let's talk about operating systems. So Windows owns 96% of the share. We're not too worried about this. Of course, Windows has been dominating this space for decades now, but it doesn't tell you the overall story because Linux does show up in a lot of server space. This is more focused on gaming. So of course, Windows is eons ahead of most operating systems when it comes to gaming and the support it has for games. So we would expect Windows to be a very high percentage of the market share, although it has been falling. In particular, it's fallen about 0.4%, but it's been steadily falling for the last few years. I want to say about a full percent has been transferred over to other operating systems within the last two years. But let's check out some of the other ones here. OS X or Apple's operating system. Mac OS owns around 2.45% of the market share. It's gone up by 0.22% in this last, we'll call it about six months from June on to November. And then Linux has actually seen a 0.16% increase. And just around a year ago, we were hovering around 1%. We've almost got a half percent gain in gaming on Linux because again this is the Steam survey so why is this the case we can see here we have a few of the original operating systems here including Ubuntu Arch Linux Manjaro and Linux Mint all dominating the Linux space this doesn't really tell you a tale of what operating system or platform has been dominating in recent times Let's actually go up and only specify Linux only. So here's what our fellow Linux people are using as far as computer systems go. But what's very interesting to see is that this huge change of Steam OS Hollow, the Arch Linux based Steam operating system that's being used on the Steam Deck is dominating these last few months with a 25% change, eons above the rest, and is proving that the Steam Deck is ultimately pushing Linux forward onto new users who are trying to game on the Steam Deck. This is absolutely fantastic. Let me know what you think about the Steam Deck in the comment section below, but let's continue talking about what most people are using as far as hardware goes on their computers. That way you can understand maybe how to build your own desktop computer. As far as Linux goes, most people are using 16 gigs of RAM, an AMD processor, 
which is insane to me. This of course is only Linux, but we're up to 56% of the market share, which is fantastic. The CPU speeds are somewhere between 2.9 to 3.7 gigahertz as the dominating frequency here for processors on Linux. The physical CPUs are the amount of cores are four cores on most computers. The AMD custom GPU 0405 is dominating the graphics cards. VRAM is right around one gig. So most people are allocating one gigs of a virtual RAM for their Linux system. The primary display is going to be of the resolution 1920 by 1080 or two monitors if they have them. The multi-monitor setup is two monitors with 1920 by 1080. The language used on Linux is English and there's about 10 gigs to 100 gigs of free space currently on their hard drives. The total hard drive space is somewhere between 250 and 500 gigs. But let's check out all other operating systems, everything combined, because this is also a good way to tell what kind of computers are dominating the market out there right now. Of course, if you're in the market for buying a new desktop computer or maybe even building your own, this is a great place to start the Steam survey. I'll make sure to post the link in the description below so you can check this out for yourself and make some decisions for yourself. But either way, the dominant operating system is Windows 10 64-bit at the moment. 65% of the share belongs to it. System RAM is at 16 gigs. 52% of computers have 16 gigs that run Steam. Intel CPU speeds are somewhere between 2.3 and 2.7 gigahertz for the clock frequency. The physical amount of cores is six cores. The video card that's most commonly used at the moment is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with around 6% of all computers that have Steam on them running the 1650. Virtual RAM, most computers have eight gigs of virtual RAM allocated to them. That's 26% of the market share. Again, 1920 by 1080 is dominating as far as resolution goes. And two times that same resolution is also dominating even more when it comes to two screens. The language is English. The free hard drive space is somewhere between 100 gigs and 250 gigs with 26% of users having this much space left. Total hard drive space. So at this point, most computers have over a terabyte of space. Around 50% of users have this much space. If you want to get a VR headset, the Oculus Quest 2 seems to be dominating with 41% of the share using that Quest 2. Let me know if any of this surprises you as far as computers go. Of course, this is a little skewed because this isn't necessarily for content creation or business environments. This is specifically for gamers using Steam. This is the type of computers and operating systems that they're running. The thing that surprises me the most is how much market share we've gained by the Steam Deck alone and the Steam operating system that's installed on that Steam Deck. Did you think we would jump up almost by a half percent in the last few months just because of that? new gaming device. Again, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, post them in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.